name is Julia. I'm from Russia. I've been teaching in China for two and a half years. So can you tell us a bit how you first got into English teaching? Oh, so it was, as I said, two and a half years ago. I was working in a business company and I just had a really strong feeling that I have to change something about my life. And then I just came to this kindergarten and tried my demo and I was just really lucky to find that really great manager who can read people and they just gave me a call and said that I have a chance and I have potential to be a teacher. So it was just, just a luck. What advice do you have for people about the recruitment and interview process when looking for jobs teaching in China? Alright, if I have to advise something, it's better if you are searching for something, think what, what city would you prefer, a big one or a small one? What weather is better for you? For example, here in the south, on the south it's quite hot, so not all people can do it here. So just, just think what you really need and read, because um, kindergartens and schools are pretty much the same in China. Just think what is better for you. Okay. You are teaching in Nanhai at the moment. Can you tell us about your impressions of the city? What do you like most about living there? Oh, I really love Foshan. I think that it's the perfect city for me now because I can compare before I lived in Guangzhou and just for several weeks in Sanya. I really love Foshan because it's quite a big city but not too many people are here and they're all friendly and you feel special and you don't need to wait in the lines for a long time. So it's really, really, really nice city. I really love it. What do you like most about teaching English? Well, teaching English is just the whole world. I think for me it's more about inspiring, inspiring children, inspiring them to do something, to do their best. And then I see it. it's just, that's what makes me happy. Can you tell us about your favorite class at the moment? I'm thinking that I love all my classes, I love all the activities. The best thing, when I see that people, I mean kids, are really interested in what they are doing, others painting or team, some team games. I'm just, I just love doing it when I see that they're involved, they love it, and that's what I need. Mm -hmm. Talk us through a typical day teaching English in China. So we have our routine, but I wouldn't say it's routine because it's very energetic and interesting. We have our morning sentences, morning reading, we have our um, morning exercises, our classes, we have a lot of special classes like swimming, golf, or library, so it's all very, very, very busy day but it just, we can go through it very quickly and completely understand that it was four, four hours. So it's, it's very interesting. Okay, great. What are the teaching resources like there? Oh, sorry, one more time. <laughs> what are the teaching resources like there? We have a lot of teaching resources. We have everything for our art classes, we have everything for our optical courses, and the best thing, if we really need something we don't have, we just can ask for it. So we, we can get whatever we need. Mm -hmm. How many teachers are there in your school? I think that there are around 25 teachers now. Mm -hmm. China is full of surprises and unexpected adventures. Tell us about one you've had recently. So I've been living here for quite a long time, for four years. I've been to many places, but maybe the last experience was all around in Shenzhen. We went there maybe two months ago. It was really exciting. Maybe it was really an adventure to get there. We spent around seven or eight hours to get there, but it was worth it. So all people were running and someone just threw, threw some paint into us. It was really cool. I loved it. China is full of opportunities. Come here. Okay, thank you, Julia.